Hi. Hi, Lai. How are you? <laughs> I would like to know if you could play one of the super villains in the TV show. Which one would you choose? If I could play one of the super villains in the show. Um, good question. Um, I always liked the Riddler. I like riddles. I'm kind of corny that way. Um, uh, so that would be fun. Um, I think a Jervis Tetch is a fun one. The Mad Hatter. Um, that was a uh, that was pretty pretty cool. And I think Benedict Samuel did a, does a really good job with that part. Um, and then yeah, like I said before, I really like the Scarecrow. So I'm interested to see who we who we cast for that. Um, and uh, if I wasn't playing Jim Gordon, I'd like to go up for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Hi again. Oh, hi. Uh, could you tell us more about uh, Texas Gun Sense, the association? Oh, sure. Uh, it's a charity that my mother, um, or a nonprofit that my mother um, is involved with, Upstart. Um, it's just working for reasonable gun legislation in, in Texas in particular, which is a pretty a lot of guns in Texas. Uh, so just trying to find some, some uh, a little more uh, reasonable uh, gun legislation. There's a, a lot of guns there. Thank you for asking. Now you're still working on Gotham, and hopefully for many, many, many more seasons. Yeah, we're, but yeah, sorry. Is there anything else you're working on as well? Oh. Is there time enough for other projects? There isn't much time, to be honest with you, no. Um, this uh, hiatus, we just wrapped season three a couple of weeks ago, a week, week ago, and um, uh, I just need to relax, <laughs> get some downtime. Um, yeah, uh, I've, been, I've been keeping it pretty low profile. But that also means there might be some parts that you will miss. Yeah, yeah, but for the time being I think it's important just to, uh, to do that job, do it well. I'm um, taking on added responsibilities with the show, including directing an episode. I directed an episode this year, which will air in, in America on May 1st. Um, and um, th those are ways of sort of increasing my work, but not, but still giving me a break. So I'm, I'm trying to do things like that. I think I may write, uh, write an episode next year. They're, so I'll say I'm going to be able to write an episode. So I'll try to do that as well. We've got time for one more question. Who wants the last one? What was it like directing the episode? Oh, so glad you asked. <laughs> Since I mentioned it. <laughs> Being a director, uh, it was really, it was uh, truly one of the best experiences I've had on a set in years. I loved it. I, I didn't even know how much I was going to love it. I've been trying to direct for a while, but it's a tricky thing when you're on a TV show to also direct an episode because it's a bit of a logistical nightmare for the production staff to, to allow you to do all the preparation that you need to do to direct and, and film you know, the scenes you're acting in as well. Um, at the end of the day, I, I am really proud of the episode. I think it's an excellent episode. Um, I got to do some really fun stuff. Uh, ninjas fighting and uh, wire work of, of Bruce Wayne flying through the air and uh, some pretty crazy stuff, as well as some incredibly emotional and, and, and uh, powerful stuff involving both my plot line uh, with my uncle, who clues me into what happened when my father died, which is not what I think happened when my father died. And um, emotional stuff with Bruce, and then a, f a funny plot line with Penguin and Ivy. So um, I'm really proud of the episode, and I think I'll do it again next year. And um, yeah, they they're they're gonna let me do it again. So I guess I didn't mess it up that badly. It's number 16 of season three, um, which is in America, airing on May 1st. I don't, I don't know when it'll air. Thank okay. you. Thanks for the question. We'll be looking forward to it, ladies Thanks, and gentlemen. Ben McKenzie!